Just say congratulations to uh, Brian Kelly and that football team. Very talented football team. And uh, they're going to win a lot of games this year. So uh, with that said, you know, to our kids, um, I thought our kids played extremely hard uh, physical football. You know, I was pleased with a lot of the uh, – a lot of the things that were going on, especially early in that first half, thought our, our, you know, our defensive kids, and I really liked our plan. And, uh, you know, five turnovers forced was pretty good. Obviously a great day. You know, we're plus four and uh, come up short. Got to finish on offense. Um, hats off to Notre Dame's defense. That's why they're one of the best defenses in the country. So um, a great, you know, a great out-of-conference matchup. Um, very good football team beat us today. I'm proud of our kids. I like their effort. I love their attitude. And it'll be a great challenge for us as young men <clears throat> to uh, bounce back, prepare for a short week, and a very good Louisville football team. So we'll be anxious to do so. Um, Kendall Moore's fine. You know, pretty good concussion. But he's, uh, he's fine. He's fine, you know, all, relatively speaking. And... Uh, the rest of the kids are banged up a little bit, but uh, just because they played a good football game. So with that, any questions? Hey, bud. Scott. Scott. Yes, sir. Starting off, you know, defensively, which you did on those first four drives. Yeah. When you look back on this game, what can you say about the defense and how much they did win, even though it wasn't a win at the end of the Well, they did a good job. The one thing we got to understand is, is the thing I love about football is it's the ultimate team sport. And you can't win without all three faces finding a way to get it done. But there's no there's no finger pointing either, you know. It's all thumb pointing right back at us. You know, if we come up short and we get five turnovers in a game, well, we needed six to win the game or seven. You guys with me? That's the approach I want to make sure that we understand is um, there are going to be some days where the defense plays great, some days the offense plays great vice versa, all the way across the board. I am pleased with our defensive effort tonight, but we did still give up 517, so that's not good enough. We can never mistake great effort and attitude and almost and all those types of things as, as uh, victories. The only victories that count are the ones that end up in the win column. And our kids understand that. Our coaches understand that. And I know you guys will remind me of that throughout the course of uh, my years. So uh, the only thing I want to make sure we understand, you know, looking at this thing is that we're going to fight our, our butts butts off to come on back and we're going to try to be the most unselfish team in the country. You know, things are going to sway back and forth throughout the course of this season and we just need to keep fighting and not be mistaken effort for results. Coach, in 13 games against Power 5 conferences, your offense has averaged 17 points a game and against top 25 teams, it's 13 points. Why is your offense not more productive against some of the top competition in the country? You can answer that question. I know you're bright enough to do that. Really good teams hold us to fewer points. Teams that aren't as good as those teams, uh, we score more points on. Simple as that. Yeah, I really couldn't see it. I mean, I had, God, I must have had 20 people come up to me before I walked in here. And even though they're all saying it was a fumble, you know, those officials, they got a tough job. And, and uh, you know, I mean, shoot, I God knows I make enough mistakes in a game. I don't know if it was a good call or a bad call. It's past history, so we're not going to lose any sleep over it. You know, I know all the fans were upset and saying it was definitely a fumble. All that. Well, you know what? I don't know. I know those officials, they tried their butt off. It just, you know, luck of the Irish went their way again. You know, that's the way things go sometimes. It is what it is. Steven, uh, what do you think the Notre Dame defense did well to uh, give you guys difficulty running the ball? And also, how much of it was out of the zone reads and Terrell going away from running plays because of what you saw? Uh, not necessarily that. Notre Dame plays a lot of different things up front. Coach Van Gorder is a, a great football coach. I've always liked that guy. That guy's a damn good football coach. Changing up things, uh, changing the fronts up. Uh, nice job showing pressure one way, bringing it the other, getting in and out of things. Enough man to keep us honest. Enough zone to, to, to throw us off where gaps are. A little double eagle stuff inside. You know, it just kept us off balance. And uh, we didn't do a good job maintaining and sustaining our blocks up front at times. And they got off their blocks, you know. It comes down to block and tackling, block prog uh, progression, getting off blocks. And uh, they did a hell of a job. I mean, they did a hell of a job now. I mean, that's a damn good defense, athletic defense. And, uh, you know, they beat, they beat our rumps. On that side of the ball, they beat our rumps today. Simple as that, man. Sometimes you just got to say we got beat on, you know, on some things, and we did. Mark, you, you 
you mentioned the five turnovers. I know it's a team game, but it, how frustrating is it not to get more points off of those? Well, it's frustrating, you know, but, you know, that's why I love football. <laughs> It's frustrating, but what the hell? <laughs> Let's go. We got to move on, you know. And that's why I told the kids, all thumb pointers, none of this baloney. That's what weaker men do. That's what. That's what's the greatest thing about this sport is it teaches young men to, to own it, own it. Hey, I didn't get it done today. You didn't get it done today. It wasn't good enough. Yes, coach. You know, later in life, that's going to help them, right, Floyd? That's going to help them, you know. So, damn it, we lost. God, I hate losing. Son of a gun, there's lessons to be learned. These kids will be stronger for it in the long run. It's still going to be a sour ride home. <laughs> okay. Coach, you know, I, I mean, not the harp on the, you know, the turnover ratio again. But, but you're going to. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, you know, is it, was it missed opportunities by your offense, or was it you know, Notre Dame's defense or a mixture of both? Well, I think it's always a mixture of both. Pretty doggone good defense, top ten defense, you know. You know. You're harping on it. Let's go to something new. Go ahead. So, Scott, yep, uh, are but you aware that uh, Golson completed 26 straight passes against him? No, I'm not aware. I wasn't uh, keeping count. Most of them were behind the line of scrimmage or short ones. And then they got a couple big ones. You know, the outside zone play that they call bubble now. Um, you know, they hit those. We didn't get off the blocks as well as we needed to. We knew that they were probably going to have to uh, default to a lot of those throws out there and felt like it was an opportunity to hit their, you know, their athletes in space. Um, at times we did a really good job with that. At times we didn't. I don't know if, if you went back and charted to see how many were, you know, those intermediate range. They were effective. They beat our butt. So good job by Golson. Steven. Um, you know, the, the third and one and fourth and one opportunity you had where you guys tried to run the ball and couldn't get it. How hard was that kind of to watch as a guy who I know you emphasize moving forward every play and yeah. to get stuck twice in a row like that? Well, you know, good job by them. We didn't get it done. Frustrating. Move on, you know. Not to take anything away from your first three opponents, but how much more talented do you think Notre Dame is than anyone you've seen before? They're a pretty talented team. If I had to put my money on someone from our conference, I would, though. I think Florida State's freakish. Evan. Uh, yeah, mixed performance with Golson tonight. He had a great completion percentage. But you also got four turnovers out of him. How did you feel that your your defensive backs in particular did with uh, with uh, with him? Okay, not good enough. Last question here, Seth. Um, we saw later in the in the night, particularly the touchdown drive, the downfield passing game really worked for the offense. You think that's something that you might go back to in the future and use a little bit more? Yeah, the game was a different situation. Um, I'm sure Brian backed off some things until late when he brought seven or eight on the on the last one. So, you know, it's always you got to look at the time in the game and the choices you make. I can remember, um, you know, being on that side of the ball and you get in a situation where you stay through game plan. Then when you get up by 14 or 17 or whatnot, then you start saying, OK, let's back off a little bit of this, make them catch the ball in front of us. There's some seams open. So there's cause and effect with all those situations. So. Um, we're going to try to do everything and anything we can imagine to win the next ball game, including looking at how much down the field or how much uh, run game, how much fake kicks, punts, all that other stuff. Everything we can do, we're going to scratch and claw to find a way to get this Louisville game. Thanks. Everybody good? Thank you.